Thursday, May 28th, saw the second in a series of immigration talks at East Hampton's Guild Hall. Guest speakers were invited to fully inform the community on the effects of immigration in Suffolk County, both legal and otherwise. Following this, an open forum was set up for the public to address the panel. Moderated by Judge Andrea Scavoni, the forum drew a large crowd from both sides of the issue. In light of the hostile nature of the first immigration meeting, all questions and comments addressed to the panel of experts had to be written and submitted before the meeting took place. Despite this measure, the atmosphere was still tense as emotions occasionally boiled over. Questions during the evening ranged from the informative to the provocative. Do we know what percentage of undocumented workers or workers in general are day laborers? Well, for the, um, it, it, obviously difficult to make um, estimates of exact percentages with, with any of these questions um, about undocumented. Uh, the estimate is that it's less than 1% of all of the immigrants in the New York State. This is New York, uh, under the New York uh, metropolitan region, so it includes both New Jersey counties and New York. <laughs> I think you can intuitively see that the number from, uh, you know, when you're talking about a region with some, you know, the New York region is probably four million uh, immigrants altogether. Just Suffolk County alone, um, 180,000. Um, you know, the, the 20, 50, 100 people you see here and there, it's a, it's a problem. It's an issue, but it's not, uh, it's not any, any significant portion of the overall immigration or even overall undocumented immigration. That the question is, why are police officers out doing seat belt or New York State inspection stops when there are illegal aliens staring them in the face? Okay, immigration is a, a federal, so when they're doing safety stops, they're doing it for the health and safety and welfare of the, the denizens of the state. So my response to that would be, um, we, as of yet, we haven't deputized to local police departments to be doing this. Um, and. Um, as far as I know, it's the job of the police officers to be doing um, checks for the law. People often talk about sending all the undocumented in immigrants back to their countries. Has any study been done, a cost analysis, of what this would entail? I would report that approximately 10 million undocumented immigrants would cost at least $206 billion over five years, or $41.2 billion annually. Um, and the, by way of comparison, the total budget for uh, Department of Homeland Security in uh, fiscal year 2008 was $47 billion. And it wasn't long before audience members, angry with the direction the forum was taking, began shouting out at the panel. Why do we have to pay? We didn't break the law. They, they've been making money since they've been here. Why can't they buy it? You know what? We've, we've been polite so far. Why don't we make it the next, what, nine minutes being polite? And we can, uh, we can get through this question and, again, try to get to another one. It might be in here, sir. I mean, how would you, if you want to arrest everybody, so think about what that would mean. How are you going to know? Why do you have to arrest everybody? Why can't it just be said that if you're Shut up! Shut up! You need to go home now. Sure. Sure. Well, first of all, it's a federal issue, and I don't think we have the right to enforce uh, the law, as one of the questioners asked. Uh, I think that it shows that there's enormous sympathy and support for the immigrants who are here. The audience members who expressed their opposition to undocumented immigrants working in the U.S. declined to be interviewed for this piece. The only legitimate answer is uh, some kind of comprehensive reform. It was unfortunate that we didn't turn it around to show that we're all on the same side. You know, we just can't stay the way we are now. But, uh, as I was pointing out tonight, it's broken. It's not, it's not working. So you get a lot of passions on both sides. And you draw some conclusions based on facts rather than emotion. We've got facts today.